Um, a little complicated. Uh, what did I do today? I wrote a part of a paper. I had a long conversation over a company I would like to start with where there are some complications around patents. Um, I'll have some telcos later today uh, over grant consortia uh, across the Atlantic. Uh, and then I'll have friends for dinner. Okay. What would you like to understand better? In science, uh, I can say something about science. Um, yeah, what, I, what, what has, has always um, been interesting to me is how a single cell, a fertilized oocyte, becomes a complete human being. And you can zoom in any event in your development, it's the same question. How did that cell ever become the cell it is? And what is it, what is it going to do next? So I, I, I'm trying to understand exactly how stem cells in the gut, uh, to have some focus, how they, how they actually manage on their own to create the entire tissue with everything in it, in a real gut, but also in an organ life. What was the last gift you gave someone? Oh, I don't often give gifts. Uh, that would be a good thing. Can I wait? You'll probably tell that. Oh, I send a, a, a congratulatory little movie. Okay. What is your most treasured possession? Probably one of my pieces of art. I collect paintings. So here you see uh, Aboriginal paintings. These come from Australia. Oh. It's the longest uh, continuous culture in the world, 20, 30, 40 centuries of oh. uh, unbroken uh, culture. Uh, but I also um, collect a Dutch painter from the last century, Karl Appel. Okay. And I have a number of paintings. There's one of them, the yellow face, that I, uh, I can look at for him. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is the craziest thing you have done in your life? I um, uh, once went on a hike with a Maasai warrior and his friend uh, for three weeks. And uh, when I was a student, I was an undergrad in, uh, in Nairobi, in Kenya. And we essentially walked for three weeks through the mountains. And uh, eventually we ended up in a sort of a lion hunt with you know, wow. me with no weapons up a tree and then the two Maasai with a spear and a knife uh, trying to chase away two, two lions. And then That's I thought this is, if, I, if this ever happens to end up in a Dutch newspaper, they will ask, what the hell was that guy doing in that, in that tree? Okay. Yeah. That's officially very crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, what do you consider your craziest achievements? Um, I, think, I think it's really the, the, the discovery of the first uh, mini cut, the first organoid, mm -hmm. where, where against, I was trying to convince my people, you know, we have these stem cells, we found the stem cells in the cut, they, they, everything is wrong with these cells, they don't know do at all what the textbooks uh, would mm -hmm. say about stem cells, particularly there were many of them and they were constantly dividing, so in a human being they will go through 20,000 consecutive divisions. Mm -hmm. Based on this we thought we should be able to grow these stem cells, like embryonic stem cells. Mm. Nobody in the lab wanted to touch this project because everybody knew that normal cells cannot be grown. They can be uh, maintained mm. and then they die. Mm. And uh, so Toshi Sato did this. And, uh, you know, had he not been here, we probably would, not, would have not developed that. Yes. Great work. Um, which historical figure do you most identify with? <laughs> that, I mean, the discoverers, I think. Uh, not that I feel I'm one of them, but the great discoverers of the North Pole and South Pole, for instance, uh, mm -hmm. Scott in, the, in, the, in Antarctica, or the discoverers in, I, I read a lot of books when I was in Kenya as a student, yeah. uh, that just went in. I feel the scientists, the real scientists do the same thing. You basically go in, yeah. you yeah. don't know what you're going to encounter, yeah. but you have enough confidence that whatever happens to you, you'll see what it is, you'll recognize it for what it is, and, and you'll somehow survive. Yeah, exactly. Um, when and where are you happiest? Um, I own a house in the mountains in Switzerland, a, a ski house, and uh, I go there a lot. I'll be, I'll be there uh, this week, this weekend. 
and any time there in the year, but mostly in the summer, go up the mountains, nobody there. And then particularly in a country like Holland where yeah. every square meter has a purpose yeah. and there's people everywhere, yeah. to be quiet in the mountains is, is fantastic. Yeah. What is the most useless talent you have? Um, well, it's actually, um, it wasn't really a talent. I played the saxophone for a number of years, which I, which I immensely enjoyed, but was not particularly good at.